Hi guys, my name is Ray Prakash and welcome to continued class of PNC. So here we'll discuss a special concept, right? A kind of gap concept I can say, right? Okay, so how to solve those gaps by S2D distribution? How to use this S2D distribution in those gaps actually, right? So addition like by a question here, we have a question. In how many ways we can select five bats such that such that there are at least two bats in between in between yeah in how many ways can select five bats such that there are at least two bats in between out of out of 20 distinct bats arranged in a row arranged in a row Right. Okay, now get this concept here, right? What is this concept actually? So in how many ways you can select five bats such that there are at least two bats in between out of 20 distinct bat arranged bats arranged in a row, right? So I have to select five bats here. Okay, such that there are at least two bats in between. So that basically means that 20 distinct bats are arranged in a row. I have to pick five bats such that there are at least two bats in between, right? So how to select that, right? See here. So let's say that A is the A is the number of bats, number of bats, or let me write like this. Let us this is my this is my first bat, this is my second bat, this is my third bat, this is my fourth bat, and this is my fifth bat. Right. Okay. Now let A be the number of bats before first bat. A be the number of bats before first bat. Okay. B be the number of bats in between first and second bat, right? So what, what is that B? That gap, that number of bats in the gap between picking first bat and second bat, right? So let's say if I pick first bat, then A is zero. Okay, if I pick first bat, then A is zero. Let me write here. Okay. If I pick first bat, okay. Yeah, if I pick first bat, in that case, A is zero. Because number of bats before first bat will be zero. If I pick second, if I pick second bat, then A is equal to one. Because number of bats before second bat is equal to one. If at first, if I if I pick third bat, in that case A will be equal to two. Right? Getting it? So A is the number of bats before you have picked that first bat. Okay. Now similarly, B is the number of bats in between first and second bat. Right? So let's say if I pick first bat, then I, I'll, I'll be picking any anything after third bat because there, there has to be at least two bats in between, right? So first bat, then at least four that uh, four bats, right? So in that case, what what is B? So if I pick first bat and if I pick fourth bat, so if I pick first bat, A is zero. If I pick fourth bat, in that case, B is two. Or if I pick fifth bat, in that case, B equal to three. If I pick sixth bat, in that case, B is equal to four. So B is your number of bats in between first and second bat, right? So what constraints I can put, right? So that constraints I can put is this A should be greater than equal to zero. Because if I, if I pick first bat, in that case, number of bats before first bat is zero. If I pick second bat, number of bat before first, second bat is one. In that case, A is one, right? So A can take up all the values greater than equal to zero. Now, if I pick second bat here, right? If I pick second bat, so in between first and second bat, there has to be at least two bats, right? So B value has to be at least two. Similarly, in between second and third bat, then let there be C bats in between second and third bat. So that gap is called C. Number of bats between second and third, that gap is equal to C, right? That C is greater than equal to, sorry, two. Because there are at least two bats in between. C is greater than equal to two. Okay. Then 
in between third and fourth bat again let's say there are d bats again d is greater than equal to 2 because i have to pick at least i have to give a gap of at least two bats in between third third and fourth bat again in between fourth and fifth bat again let's say there are e number of bats and again e is greater than equal to 2 right and after fifth bat let's say there are f bats here right so obviously once there are five bats you are picking in a line it will create six gaps for before one between 1 to 2 between 2 to 3 3 to 4 5 to uh, 4 to 5 and 5 to 6 so if you are picking five bats it will create a gap of six okay so these are six variables a b c d e f because why i am picking f also because my last bat could be 25th bat also and there are sorry not 20th 15th bat also so if there are 15th bat and 15th bat is my last bat then value of f becomes 5 right my last bat could be 20th bat also if my last bat is 20th bat So and in that case, f becomes zero. That means f can take any value greater than equal to zero. You are getting it, right? So f can take any values greater than equal to zero. So a can take zero, f can take zero, and b, c, d, e all can take at least two. Now, how many bats? So if I add these values, a plus b plus c plus d plus e plus f, it should be equal to how much? Think, think yourself, how much? Out of twenty bats, these five bats already I have picked, right? So number of bats before first bat that is a. Plus number of bats in between first and second bat that is B. Plus number of bats in between second and third bat that is C. Like that, A to F. What is sum? Sum should be equal to fifteen because out of twenty bats, I have already picked five bats, right? So in that case, number of bats is equal to what? That is equal to fifteen. Got it? Absolutely right. So just what you need to do here? Find the number of integral solutions now. Just find it. These conditions are what? These are what? A, B, C, D, E, two. So give two to each. That becomes what? That becomes now a plus b plus c plus d plus e plus f. So they want at least two. Give at least two. Two plus two, four plus two, six plus two, eight. Fifteen minus eight. I'm left with seven now. Right. So seven now. If I write here seven, all can be zero now. All can be zero. So if all all can be zero, so we can apply our derived shortcut. What is the answer? Seven plus five. There are five plus signs here. Seven plus five. Twelve C five. So twelve C five is the answer for this question, right? I hope you got it right, huh? So this is the funda behind the gap concept, right? See, I'll 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 show its application, right? So this this begins is very logical chapter, right? Don't you don't need to mug up so many formulas, right? Only there are very much formulas in geometry and uh, uh, in numbers and free things that you can mug up, right? Don't when it's a very logical chapter, try to do it as logically as possible, right? Seeing the pattern of cat, try to do it as logically as possible. Okay. Okay. So now just change the data. You can solve for uh, another question here, right? If I change the data a little bit, let's say if I say now there are thirty bats. Okay. Now there are. So in how many? You can say let's say there are third select ten bats such that there are at least two bats in between out of twenty distinct or let's say make it thirty now make it thirty. Okay, not a lot is answer for this question here. Try to do it bit mentally once you got that concept right. Do it mentally now. So if I try to solve it now, let's select ten bats right. So just do it mentally. Ten bats will select how many? If you are selecting ten bats, how many gaps will have? Eleven gaps, right? Number of bats before first bat is A. Number of bats before second bat is B. Uh, in, sorry, in between first and second is B. So like that, we have how many variables here? Just count eleven so variables. A to K, right? A to K, there are eleven variables. Correct. Just do it mentally. Don't need to do that much now. It was a godly concept. So they are selecting ten bats. That means it will create eleven gaps. So these are the eleven gaps, right? Number of bats before first bat is A. Number of bats in between first and second bat is B. Number of bats in between second and third is C. Like that, we have K. On the end variables, we have always zero and zero because my first bat could be my, my if if I pick that first bat, that could be the first out of this thirty. In that case, A is zero, and my last bat could be the last out of this thirty. So again, in that case, K would be zero, right? And key can be anything, anything more than zero, and all the middle variables will have what? At least two on them, correct? And this should be equal to how much now? So out of thirty bats, I've selected ten bats. So I'm left out with how many bats? Twenty bats now. Okay, fine. So if I'm left with left with twenty bats now, so what will happen now here? 
to how many variables there are two two here so there are 11 variables so nine variables have got two each right nine variables have got two each so nine into two how much i need to subtract 18 i need to subtract right what is the answer here it's simply you can write a2k 20 minus 18 that is equal to Two. We are giving two to two to uh, two to each, right? In that case, is two. And if there are eleven variables, how many plus signs here? There are ten plus signs. There are ten plus signs. So what is the answer in this case? Two plus ten, twelve C two or twelve C ten. Both are same thing, right? This is the answer. Twelve C ten. A beautiful concept, right? Absolutely beautiful concept. And these are good tough questions of PNC, right? So you can solve this thing like that, like logically, right? That's a great thing. Okay, I hope it is clear, right? Let's go to next question now. Let's see its more applications. Okay. In how many ways? We can select six natural numbers. Six natural numbers. Which are non-consecutive, out of forty-nine natural numbers written in ascending order, written in ascending order. So, understand this question here, right? So, there are. Six natural numbers I need to select, which are non-consecutive, out of forty-nine natural numbers which are written in ascending order, right? So when those numbers are written, so understand, like, so what is the case here? There are one, two, three, like this. There are forty-nine natural numbers written in ascending order. I have to pick any six out of these three. Sorry, out of this forty-nine, right? If I have to pick any six out of this forty-nine, what will happen now? Those gap concept I can use here, right? Because what is this? This is what this is a case of non-consecutive, right? That means at least something will be in between. At least one will be in between. That means now how to apply this gap concept here? See, let's say if I pick first number, my second number, my third number, my fourth number, my fifth number, and my sixth number. Number of numbers before first number is A. In between second, first, and second is B. In between second and third, there are C numbers. In between third picking and fourth picking, there are D numbers. In between fourth and fifth picking, there are E numbers. In between fifth and sixth, there are F numbers. And after six, there are G numbers. Correct. So sum of A to G is equal to how much? Is equal to forty-nine. So sum of A to G is equal to. Sorry, not forty-nine here. I have to put the constraint also. No. Yeah. So sum of all these variables. Right? For what constraints I can put here now? So again, first and last can be equal to zero. So if first and last can be equal to zero, in that case, all B, C, D, E, F, right? All can be how much? So all can become at least one because these are non-consecutive, right? In the in the last question, it was gap of at least one. Now in this case, it's just like that. If I select my first number, after that second number, there should be gap of at least one. So gap of at least one means number of numbers in between first and second is B. That should be at least one. So gap of at least one, right? And this should be equal to how much? So out of forty nine, I selected already six. So I am left with how many numbers now? Forty three numbers. I am left with, right? So now I guess just find the integral solutions here. So five times one is required. Give five to them. Five to forty three. How much we are left with now? We are left with thirty eight. So after giving five, we are left with thirty eight. Ah, huh. and with thirty-eight, how many plus signs here we have? We have got six plus signs. So what is the answer now? So answer will be what? Thirty-eight plus six, forty-four C six. So forty-four C six is the answer for this question. Right? I hope it is clear. Okay. So these are different applications we can use here. Let's do. The, let's see the next question now. Okay. Before that, what I can also is for all the non-consecutive, right? For all the non-consecutive, if there's a gap of at least one, okay. So uh, we would write formula also, right? So, but not we don't need to remember it, but still, many of you like it, so I write the formula here. So for all the non-consecutive, only for gap of one, right? There's a formula here. It will be equal to n minus r plus one cr. 
okay n minus r plus 1 c r right so it comes from the permutation convention of higher mathematics right and you can easily uh, if you know that part you can derive it otherwise you can just remember it for all the non consecutive part it is my n minus r plus 1 c r right but i will always prefer that complete concept you should know that logic you should have to solve such questions right just tell i'll write this what is n here so n is 49 you are picking six numbers so minus 6 plus 1 and you are picking six numbers so 6 so what is the answer 49 minus 6 43 plus 1 44 c 6 that's what i got here right so that's what i got here okay i hope it is clear right you can't apply this in last question with a gap of at least two so this formula won't work right you have to solve like that only okay now let's move to the next question so we can write a question here a train having 12 stations in route has to be stopped at four stations right so find the find the number of ways the train can be stopped if no two of the stopping stations are consecutive okay so train having 12 stations and route has to be stopped at four stations find the number of ways the train can be stopped if no two of the stopping stations are consecutive right now let's solve it right by again this funda so again it's like there are 12 stations understand this concept right how we, how, how we can apply gap concept here if there are 12 stations the stone uh, sorry the train has to be stopped at any four it could be any four such that there is a gap of at least one in between let's say these are the four stations right or any four again stop huh. so again Let's say the let's say the those let's say those four stations are station number one. Out of that means uh, I'm not saying this is a station here, right? This is the stations numbered actually. So any any station out of this first, right? So let's say this is a first station. Let's say second station. Let's say third station, and let's say fourth station, right? Before first station there are a number of stations. Between first and second b stations. Between second and third c. Between third and fourth d. And after fourth e right so again first station can be first stopping can be station can be what station one also so a can be zero last one can be also 12th so e can be zero and all other there's a gap of at least one right so this is this question again you can apply that formula also right but if it is gap of at least two or they can vary it where they can put some variety like between first and second there are at least two between second and third there are at least four stations right so then that formula won't work right they have to do by this method only right so a plus b plus c plus d is greater than equal to zero so out of 12 i only picked eight four stations so i'm left with now eight right so now you can solve it simply so out of eight three we have given one 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 so i'm left with five five and there are four plus signs here one two three four so five plus four is the answer answer is five plus four nine c four so 9C4 is the answer of this question. Okay. 9C4, that is 126. Right? I hope it is clear. Right. So it's a beautiful concept. Try to gather it. We'll do more questions on this in the next video. Thank you.